Well, we're getting our first look at the man who attacked a 73 year old man in downtown Pittsburgh yesterday. 24 year old Jamil Huff is behind bars after he approached, chased down and punched a man on 4th Avenue near Smithfield Street. Huff is now facing an aggravated assault charge, and this is the second random attack along Smithfield Street in less than a month. And tonight we're hearing from those who work and live downtown and how city officials are reacting to the violence. I am actually petrified to walk in the city anymore. It's just not safe. Speed walking past our cameras. Denise Seibel is one of many who say they don't feel safe downtown anymore. Did you see how fast I was walking? <laughs> well, I was just going to say you were power walking. I didn't know if you yep. had somewhere to be or if no, I'm scared. That's in your head. I'm scared. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm scared. She's no stranger to being downtown, but after recent attacks, she hustles from point A to B. I've worked here for 42 years and have never been scared in the city until basically when we came back from COVID. It's not the same city. Earlier this month, Pittsburgh police say an 18 year old woman was attacked by a stranger on Smithfield Street as she was on her way to the bus stop. And just yesterday, police say a 73 year old man was attacked by this man who told police he thought the victim was a pedophile after hearing it in his mind. The fact that people have been attacked in this area makes me feel very insecure. Many say they want to see a bigger police presence in the area. The only time I feel safe is when I see police walking in front of me while others try to keep to themselves, hoping if they go unnoticed, they won't be bothered. The only way I try to protect myself is to disengage wearing sunglasses and earphones and just like not interacting with anyone while I do my walk. Now we reached out to Pittsburgh public safety officials and the mayor's office for comment to learn what's being done to protect those living and working downtown. We were sent this saying in part, the safety of all residents is a top priority. We're committed to doing the work necessary to make downtown a place where everyone who works, plays or lives downtown feels safe and welcomed. We also received a statement from the victim in yesterday's incident. And he said, as the city council is trying to encourage more people to live downtown, I urge them to make sure downtown stays safe so that we can better protect the people who live there.